We bought one acre just outside of town and are turning it into the ultimate tiny farm. And today we're seeing that property for the first time. This is the property we just bought. We bought it for $67,500 and the entire fenced in area is all the land we have. One single acre. But really this place is not that bad at all. We got some big old mature trees. We've got a nice tiny little home, which I'll go inside and show you real quick. We've got a tiny garage on it, but our truck won't fit in that thing. Where are you going to keep it, smart guy? It doesn't even fit in your garage. But it is a nice little garage nonetheless. We can do something with it. You step inside, you got your little dining area, your little kitchen. It's all basic. You know, we spent $60,000 on this. That goes to the garage. This goes upstairs into to a little living room lounge area of sort, which you then lead to uh, another little kind of office room, if you will. And of course, another office room, if you will. <laughs> no bedrooms. We like sleeping on couches here. But today we're focused on the outside. And as we can see, we've got an open vegetable garden area that needs a little bit of work, but this is going to be great in the future. We've also got a little shed space right over here. I think we'll just use that to store our goods primarily. And then we've got two chicken coops right back here. As we can see, these chickens are open range, so uh, we'll find out why the chicken crossed the road. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! I think the first thing we need to do is maybe mow up this grass a little bit. We could probably sell that and make a little bit of money. We should probably get chickens as well. So let's run into town and get some chickens, chicken feed, and water, like all the different little things that we need. Oh, it's so cute! Oh my gosh! We could raise a little baby chickens. Oh, we can have ducks, dude. All right, all right. We're gonna get little, little teeny tiny itsy bitsy baby chickies. I gotta see them. I gotta. Oh, I gotta. Oh, they're so tiny. They're so cute. Oh, we gotta go unload them. Come on, little chickies. We gotta go get you home, buddies. Forgive me, chickens, but I really want to see what happens. Oh, hang on, fellas. Father, Ooh, good job. Okay, we scared the chickens. Do you hear them chirping? They're a little mad at me. Hey, chicken McNug. I don't know how to tell you this, but I don't know how to open this thing. Oh, we did it! We did it! We did it! Where'd you go? Where'd you go? I need another one. Where'd you go? I don't want to step on you. I hear you, little jerks. Where are you at? I want to tell you where you are. Look at the little baby chickens. I did not know we could have baby chickens in this. This is this. I'm happy. I am so happy. We're gonna go get more. We, we today is the quest to buy baby chickens. Side thought: I really should mow all this because I can't find the chickens over here, and now I'm a little. Can I usher all of you in the barn while I mow this? I really don't want to make impromptu nuggies, bro. We Oh, Jesus, not Peter again. I gotta go get you feed too, don't I? Okay, I gotta go. Oh, I got so much to do. Well, we got out with the biggest bag of chicken feed we could buy. Let's go with this. The, oh my goodness, that was heavy. So that chicken feed cost us $1,400 and this trailer cost us $3,000. So we're now down to 5,482, but let's get our new water trailer and chicken feed back to our chicken house. I bought more baby chicks. You knew this was gonna happen, right? Hit the like button for baby chickens in farming sim. There we go. Got all the chickens unloaded and they're just in the grass here. Like, look at these little fellas. They're so cute. Oh my gosh. Now I suppose we probably better feed these here chickens. So let me go over here and just make sure that they've got feed. I think you missed that. Let's go over here and make sure that they've got feed. There. Come get your feed. That one touched the ground. Yeah. Look at you. Oh my goodness. They really should be like in here. We should get those heater lamps. There we go. We've got the chickens wild and we also filled this thing up using the tap right on the side of the house. But that's using our water supply from the city, which is expensive. So we're going to have to come out here and drill a well. But that can wait because I saw a lawnmower for sale on Facebook Marketplace and we're going to go buy it. Check it out. This lawnmower is for sale for $850, including the bagger. It's got a little hitch on the back to attach those sorts of things. Oh, hey, Steve. Yeah, I'm just... Steve? I'm gonna have to go to therapy now. Anyways, uh, I think for the price, this should work pretty well for our needs. And now after buying that mower, we have $3,991 left. I know what you're thinking. Probably should have done this before you set all the chickens out here. Look at them running away from the mower. But you know what? We make mistakes here, don't we? That's better. Now I can see all the little baby chickens. Can we get baby other things? I need baby other things now. Yeah, maybe we should look into sheep, pigs, I don't know, bees? You guys 
just let me know what you want me to get down below. We're not going to mow everything right away. I'm just trying to get things around key parts that we're going to be working on. There we go. Get right down between these rows here as well. There. See, that's looking a little bit better at least. Okay, so that should be good to go on that for now. Oh, look at him go. Look at you, little girl. <laughs> Yeah, there's another. Oh my gosh, I can stand up here and watch little baby chickens run all day, dude. But unfortunately, I can. Just came out here to make sure they were doing all right. And they are, of course. But we've got to get back over here to this garden. Uh, we actually need to get to watering this so we can plant some seeds in. Tomatoes, strawberries, and lettuce, I think. Total? Yeah, that sounds good. But I'll tell you what, I really need to get a tractor. So let me go on on Facebook Marketplace and see if I can find anything again. Okay, hear me out. I know we only have $1,633 left, but I found a cheap tractor tractor and the guy delivered it. This farm all is not really that powerful, but it was the cheapest thing I could find and it's actually in really good condition. So, uh, why don't we take our old farm owl for a spin here, eh? Yeah, let's be honest, guys. We're probably gonna get rid of this at some point or we'll just make it like a, show, you know, a showpiece. But eventually we're gonna have to change this thing out because it's just not really suited for what we're doing here. But I don't mind taking a cool old tractor like this for a spin. It's got that front nose on it, that needle nose tricycle style. Like I said, we're gonna be over here just Filling this thing with water, doing trip after trip after trip. I'll get as much as I can into here, but we probably need to hold off for a little bit until we get a well. Right now, we just need to be making some money because all we've done is spend. If you made it this far in this video, then you should start a one acre farm of your own and let me know what works for you in the comments down below. Let's make it a little challenge. I want to see who can make the most profitable one acre farm in Farm Sim. But we are finishing up watering these uh, beds here. Just got them good sprayed down and now let's go ahead i've got some seeds that i've had in the truck let's get some stuff planted in the garden Whew. oh man as you guys can see we've got all of these rows planted i think they're looking pretty good we need to come through here with the, the mower just didn't get it oh man okay we need to go get into town again anyways because we've got a few other things to pick up here yet so let's go back to town oh another 220 dollars all right tractor supply you've taken enough of my money buddy i'm taking my new tool and going home i gotta stop spending money i've spent oh i've spent so much money today dude it's not even funny oh speed limit's 45 somebody told me i don't know who all right just walk right on up here and turn this on here we go just make sure we don't accidentally clip our little vegetables here oh yeah dude oh this little thing is the best thing we could have bought we can really just sneak into these little nooks and crannies and get that last little bit of oh look our, our oh they're growing oh they're growing in front of our eyes making us Food or money? Take your pick. We'll, we'll, we'll take the money. Just get the last little bit of this grass right up here. And y'all, I think that's a good first day on the homestead. We'll see you on day two. And it's a beautiful April morning here, 5.30 in the morning. And we're going to get right out taking care of our garden. Oh, man. You guys can hear the frogs are loud this morning. Jeez. We've got our tomatoes coming up. We've got uh, strawberries and lettuce and all kinds of stuff. more tomatoes over here. Let's run out here and check on our little chicks this morning. How you doing? Everybody all right? Everybody's just enjoying their time at the club. Insert rave music here. All right. Well, they got feed. They've got water. They should be fine. We do need to go get more feed today. The first thing we're going to get done is water our garden. And then when the bank opens, we're going to run in there and get a loan of $20,000 to cover our operating expenses. Using that money, we're going to make some investments and build out our homestead even more. Now that we got our garden all watered, we can start getting this grass cut down because I want to get all of this grass bailed up. If we can get, you know, at least a bale or two, that is money in our pocket. Oh, the train going by this morning. Honk, honk. Man, that's going to get annoying in good time. I'm sure of it. Woo! This shore is beautiful. 6.30 in the morning. Things are lightening up outside. We're going to get right on to cutting up this grass here. Let me hop on to what might be the best little lawnmower you guys ever done did seen. Let me just go to town mowing this bad boy here. Since it's about 7 in the morning, the bank isn't open yet. We've got plenty of time to get this done and get into town yet. So I'm not really too worried about it. We're just running past the chicks. I can hear them all chirping away happy as ever. I'm going to just go ahead and consider this a headland. I'm going to try and do a headland 
Hitman Pass around this fence line. Give myself a little buffer zone. Yeah, that's right. We're doing a hayfield lawnmower style. I mean, really, this is nothing more than our front yard. We have a one acre property here. But when you only have one acre, you got to find ways for it to make you money. So this is what we're doing. One of the reasons we're mowing all this down is because in the tree line, we're actually going to be building a sheep enclosure later on. And on the backside fence line, we're going to be building a beehive setup. That'll work perfectly right next to our vegetable garden. And ultimately, like things are coming together pretty nice here. Okay, first headland done. We're going to be going through our second pass. I wonder if I can somehow use this mower to windrow all of this. Probably not. By the way, if you guys want to partake in this challenge, all you have to do is set yourself up a one acre plot of land. And the rules are as long as it's agricultural based, then you can do it. But no starting alternative businesses like lawn mowing company or something like that. No, I want to see what you guys can build on just one acre. And we're going to make it a little bit of a challenge. And maybe you can teach me some things along the way. So comment your ideas down below as well. Take you for a ride on a big green train. Or oh, we can go slow or make it go faster. Is that Goofy singing a country song? What's going on here? Okay, it's about 8 in the morning, so we probably better just stop mowing for the time being and get on into town to see the banker. Okay, so after talking with the banker a bit, this is what I'm thinking. $35,000 over the course of two years at 3.5% interest. That's about $1,500 we're gonna have to pay every single month. I think I'm gonna take it. It gives us $35,000 to work with, so let's do it. Woo! Okay, I am my heart is racing. We just got a $35,000 loan and hopefully we don't crash our credit because that does matter. Yeah, I forgot to tell you guys, we have a credit scoring system and if we make bad loans, we will ruin our credit and make it impossible to get any more. So we really need this $35,000 to pay off. So let's head over to Tractor Supply. Oh Lord, it's 10 a.m. already? We gotta get going. We spent too much time at Tractor Supply. We got chicken feed and they also have some grass and straw bales for us that we can buy. But I told him I'd be back to get that because I need to build the sheep enclosure first. So before we head back to the house, let's head across the river and buy the lumber that we're going to need. So it's going to cost about $5,000 in materials to build that sheep enclosure. We went ahead, put the deposit down, and we stopped by my buddy Steve's to pick up the baler that we rented for $260. With all this out of the way and now 1130 in the morning, we really need to get back to the homestead and get to work. Ah, now that we're home, we can continue mowing our grass. We can get the sheep enclosure built built, and most importantly, we can go feed our chickens. I know, I know, baby chickens. Hold on, I'll get you feed. Here you go. Everybody watch your heads now. I say watch your heads, you're gonna get chicken feed all over you. There you go. Mm-mm-mm. Chicken, you know, I'll just give you the whole bag. You probably deserve it, right? No, you don't want the whole bag, Timothy? Okay, buddy. We'll give a little over here to these fellas, too. There you go. Y'all take your picks. You okay, buddy? You look like you're really pondering life. Well, as our chickens question reality, we do, too, because we gotta go mow our one acre and turn it into a hay field. Don't know if that's ever been done before, but we're gonna do it. Hey, I'm gonna leave the door open. None of you going in there, okay? None of you, none of you start learning how to drive. You're not old enough yet. You can't do it. You understand, Samantha? You too, Ricky. You better listen to me. For the amount of time I spend on the lawnmower, I'm starting to feel like I should be a father. But hey, let's get back at it. That grass isn't gonna cut itself, is it? We got deer running through our fence. That's something you don't see every day. Whoa, jeez. Don't run into my truck neither. Hi, woo. Almost running into a deer on a deer. What is what is happening? Don't, don't, no, no, it's attacking it. Stop. I'm just trying to mow my lawn. Oh, Lord. Will y'all just leave me alone, please? The sheep are going to love the shade underneath here. The deer are going to hate the sheep, though. It seems to be their favorite spot, too. It's about four o'clock here, and we've got the good majority of this all mowed down. We're just kind of getting down around the chickens now. But I think we're going to go ahead and just try to run this stuff through the baler now. Now, probably not the brightest idea. We probably should let this sit for a bit. Running it through the baler right now could cause some problems, but I think we should be fine. There we go. We've got this whole entire area all mowed up. Sure, a little couple patches here and there, but I think that is going to be good enough for now. All that around the house we can get after we get this bailed up because we got to prioritize the farm work here. We can do this stuff after hours, and I think we'll be able to use the farm all on the baler. At least I hope so. Let's go find out. Man, I'm noticing my garden kind of getting some shade off them trees now. But that's not the end of the world because it actually helps the plants 
defense a little bit. They do need sun, but you don't want to scorch them either. We're going to back on up, get connected there. I think we're just going to start right on this row. I know that might seem a little strange, but it was one of the more straight rows that we could get started here. There we go. This old baler we rented for $200. And she's working like a charm, man. Look at that. That is picking up real clean back here. It's not leaving anything behind. This tractor is not ideal for this. It's got a needle nose, so we're driving over top our windrow. So we do definitely want to get a uh, different tractor for this job at some point. But for now, it seems to do the job. So we're just going to keep kind of rolling through here. And we'll see how many bales we can crank out of this. Probably at least a couple, maybe maybe even a few. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. We're about to get the first bale off of our tiny one acre farm. Here it comes. First ever bale. Ta-da. Yeah, it's not really anything all that special, but it is a bale. And that is money, money, money. I, I mean, at least I hope it's money. We could we could squander the opportunity to make money off that bale still. But I tell you what, we're definitely going to try and make money off that bale. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is actually working like a charm. We're dropping our third bale right now, and we still have even more grass yet. And that's bale number four right there. We are getting a good ways along here. We're probably going to end up with about five, maybe six if we're lucky bales here. Ooh, well, it's about 7.33, and we are getting... This is the final bale we're going to be getting off of this place. So we'll just go ahead, set that, and let's park this tractor right out here. And now that we put that away, let's go in for the night and get some sleep. Tomorrow, we're going to build our sheep enclosure. Just like that, it is the morning May now, 5 a.m. We got six, I believe six round bales off of this one acre last night and our sheep barn materials are going to be showing up today so we're going to get the sheep pasture built we're going to get these bales moved on out of here and we're going to continue moving forward on our little homestead let's first of all check on our chickens first thing in the morning as we can see you can't see them down there in their grass we gotta we gotta kind of mow that little section through here again but they've got feed they're chirping away i can hear them down here in the grass so they're doing all right and looking over our garden looks like everything is doing pretty well well over here as well. We could probably mow in between there a little bit. Now that we got all of that stuff taken care of, we're going to head into town, get a bale spear to put on the back of our old tractor. That way we can get all these bales collected and put in one location. And by the time we get that done, it'll be time for the sheep. The tractor supply should have my, yep, they do. Right there's my bale spear. I ordered this thing early. It's about $200, but it's a $200 piece of equipment that we're going to have to have for a very long time. All right, appreciate it, tractor supply i'll probably be back here later today let's be honest you know what i think we also probably need to go ahead and make this driveway better i wonder what it would cost to rock this but that's something that we'll figure out later for now let's get to moving these bales oh my goodness i can't use this thing are you you guys are not gonna believe this but i do not have a three-point attachment on this old tractor i think we might need to get a new tractor oh man and now i'm starting to think maybe buying this was a mistake well this is about to be an interesting little drive i just got off the phone with a john deere because they're right down the road and they said they might be able to put a three-point linkage on the back of this old farm all so we're gonna run down the road and see what this is gonna end up costing us five hundred dollars to put a three-point linkage on the back of that thing good lord well i mean that's cheaper than buying a tractor so appreciate it boys all right we can finally move our first bale here back up get oh easy this little uh tricycle style tractor it steers different than what i'm used to there you go just bring it right on back and then pick it up and boom that works like a charm man we move bales baby look at us we're a bale moving fool we're almost gonna do some wheelies in this thing i don't know exactly where i want to keep the bales so i think for now i'm just gonna start lining them up right back here okay first bale moved out of the way watch out chickens a tractor coming through let's go ahead and move our next bale here don't knock your fence jake that's an expensive thing you know what we need to replace that fence at some yep we need to replace that fence at some point thanks for proving it over and over mr deer i don't know i gotta say the turn radius on this old needle nose style tractor works pretty good i think they had zero turn lawn mowers before they ever knew it it's funny because i actually think these things were a little rough on turning Ooh, this one's gonna be careful. Ooh, trying to sneak between the 
truck and our barns and our chickens, and we're gonna grab it at an angle. Don't run into the truck, Jake. Jeez. Careful, we're clear. Okay, straight back, and then pick it right on up. Like a butte. You guys think I should fence off the chickens so I don't accidentally drive over them in the future? Leave a comment down below if you think that's a good idea. And go ahead and back. Oh, come on. Back up into it. Pick it up. There we go. That one was a little bit more difficult because it was on that hill there. You know, I gotta be honest with you guys. I've been sitting here thinking this whole time, man... This whole one acre farm thing really ain't all that bad, fellas. I think this might be the way to do it. But uh, we only just started, so maybe I'll eat those words. I guess we'll see. Okay, check this out. This one's gonna be really interesting. We gotta sneak right past our little bush here, our little tomato plant. Don't wanna get in it there. And also we're gonna be stabbing this at a bit of an angle. Let's see if I can get it enough to move it out of the way here. There we go. Now, how about we try to pick it up again? Ah. That's magic, dude. That works like a charm. Oh, we did a wheelie. We did a wheelie. Oh, and we ran into our other bales because of it. Good Lord, we gotta be careful. Popped a wheelie in a tricycle tractor, though. Hit the like button for that, eh? Okay, got the last bale picked up. Now, the sheep pasture people are about five minutes away. They gave me a call, so we're gonna get our supplies and get that built. You know what? I wanna try a little trick. I, I, oh, oh, you can. You can. That is so cool. So this is a trick. In real life, you can leave your... Well, first of all, you don't want to stab that low. But anyways, you can leave those in. And then you can just can come back and hook right up to them right at the same level, assuming you don't change the height of it. Anyways, we got work to go do. Sorry, I I'm nerding out a little bit. Well, we're down to $25,000 because this thing just got put up. I know it doesn't look like it is the fanciest, but it only costs us $5,000 in total. And I figured, hey, a great spot here is where these trees already exist. Instead of cutting these trees out, we can leave them in and just let this be a shaded pasture for sheep. And then we've got the open sun areas over here that we can use for more crop utilization. And then kind of Coming down this middle, I think we'll put in a little road. Now I want to get this original driveway rocked, but we're going to have somebody do that while I run into town and order a delivery of sheep to come on out. And hopefully by the time I get back, we'll have our new driveway. It just turned noon and we're showing back up to the farm. Now, uh, things might have changed a little bit, but, you know, I promise you that it's, it's for the good. So first of all, we can see that they did come and get the gravel poured in here. We only did this little portion here, but we'll do the rest when we build out that. Now, when it comes to the sheep, about the sheep, I know I said sheep, but when I went to the store to buy sheep, I saw baby goats and I couldn't say no, okay? Look at this adorable little fella. Could you tell these adorable little things no? I mean, look at them. They are just so precious looking. Oh. And they're also probably hungry, so we probably but need to get them some yeah, we need to get them their feed. And they need water. So let's go hurry up, make sure we get that taken care of before I forget. There we go, getting them some water in here. As we can see that all filled up there. Now you thirsty? Come on, go get a drink. You can lead a goat to water, but you can't make them drink, huh? What about you? No? Wow. Turning away some high quality. Yeah, come try it. Wow, you're gonna continue to tease me like that. Okay, you know what? Fine. I'm gonna go get your feed, and I, I already know you're not gonna appreciate it. I'm acting like I'm upset, but they're the cutest darn things. I can't stay mad at them. Not like this. Now, unfortunately, the goats do like both grass and hay, and I only currently have grass. Um, I think we're just gonna have to buy hay. Oh, we're doing another wheelie. Oh, we're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. We're all good here. How are you? But I'm sure we'll get that all figured out here in no time. Maybe we can find a local farmer to provide us a little bit of hay, or maybe we'll just turn a little bit of our grass every year into hay. I don't know. But we're going to leave them with that big old bale so they can just keep gnawing on that. Ain't that right, little fellas? The biggest bale for your tiny little bodies. And they got water, so they should be happy enough for now. So now we got to decide where I want to put some bees. Now I was originally thinking maybe over here, but I think back kind of by this original garden along this fence line, would actually be perfect. So I think that's where we're going to try and do it. They'd get access to all these flowers and these flowers here. We could add some down along here as well when we make this into a bigger garden. But I think we're going to just do them right up here along this fence line for now. I think we'll do maybe... Uh, how about we do three of them just to start? That should be pretty good. So, ooh, bees. Ew, ew. <laughs> oh, ew. 
Okay, definitely my least favorite thing on the entire farm are the bees swarming out of this dude. Oh, we're walking around it. I'm not a fan. Ironically, it's the closest thing to our house too. Well, it's about 2.20 in the afternoon here. We might as well go ahead and mow this area up as well and get all of this grass cleaned up here. Going right around our little gardens. I do want to build some more and maybe we can do that. It is May. I wonder what we can plant. There we go. Not too bad at all. More or less got all this this mode around here. At least the important bits around the garden. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with that for now. That ought to do. We can put this mower away. Well, I think we've done pretty well for ourselves today, but it's about 3 p.m. Let's take a couple hour break until short time. And things are sure coming along here at our little one acre homestead. The goats are goating away over there nice and happy. Just ban their life away over here. And then we got the little chickens just hanging out. Of course, right back here, we have the six round bales. Well, five ran round bales as we've already used one. But it's about 4 p.m. And my buddy called me to ask me if I would come out and help cultivate his field. He's going to be paying us about $1,500 to do so. And I said, heck yeah, son. So we're going to get the truck on over to this field and get to work. Goats, you're in charge. I don't trust the chickens. They're gonna burn something down if they're left alone, okay? Oh my lord. Oh, this is they're holding me against my will. This is imprisonment. That's what this is. Is this because I ain't paid my tags yet? Thank a farmer. All right. Hey, Steve. <laughs> Steve, you better be lucky that I got good brakes on this old truck, boy. Good lord, son. You was about to have to pay for a front end, okay? And don't worry, this one would have costed way more than your wife's. Okay, before he puts his pants on and comes outside on that comet, let's hurry up and get in the field. Before we hop in the field, quick little finance check. We have about $5,500 max value that we have on our one acre farm so far. We do happen to owe $35,000 in operating costs and another $62,500 on our mortgage. So the $1,500 we're getting from this job is going to go a long ways in saving our farm. You know, this area was once a landfill. If you're curious what that used to look like check this video out but we are gonna get to rip in the grass up out of this field so he can turn it into a nice arable cropland we're gonna do our initial first pass around to kind of outline where we want to go we're looking at the contours of the land and everything like that and once we've got that figured out we will fill it in and collect our paycheck oh my god the fact that this is a grass field i should charge so much more holy cow well we got our first headland pass done it was definitely not the easiest thing but now we just more or less got to fill this entire area in and we'll be good to go the problem is i don't know if we're gonna get it done here today we're running out of daylight but i'm gonna try and stick out here a little bit longer and see if we can't get most of it done we might have to run home we'll see what happens there are a lot of big rocks gonna out in this field aren't there i hope we don't have to take care of those whoa hold on wait do you guys see that there's something in the bushes why is there an old cabless John Deere Gator sitting out here. Oh, you suppose this thing just run out of gas and they forgot about it? Hold on, let's find out. Does it even start? It starts right up. Okay, clearly if he forgot this in the bushes, then they don't care about it. It's an old one. It, it is a pretty old one. It runs. This would be perfect for our little acreage. I'm going to run this up the hill here and uh, just park it. And when I go pick up my truck, I'll ask him about it and see if maybe he'll just give it to us or if we can buy it super cheap. But the work ain't going to get itself done. So let's keep going around, around, around. Here we go. Ooh. <sighs> Oh man, 8.15 at night and we're finally done with that field. I told y'all it was gonna take me a minute. Alrighty, here we go. Let's just pull the tractor right up in front of the door here and let's get back on over to our place, shall we? Oh man, I just wanna pull in here, make a quick PB&J and go to bed. Let's check the chick. Oh, whoa, oh, no, 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 no. Why is, okay, oh, 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 that is hot. Hey, get on the tractor. Get the tractor out of that, come on. Oh my gosh, the baler is on fire. It's gonna burn the shed downs and the chickens with it. Oh, I just wanted to go to bed. I just wanted to go to bed, man. Now I'm out here wheeling a fire hose. Okay. Oh boy, someone needs to call the fire department. Uh, Let's see, let me get my phone here. There we go. All right, the fire department's being dispatched right now, they said. They're gonna probably pull up here and try and get this fire out. Okay, the fire department's here and set up. I'm gonna try and help them out with my garden hose. Um, 
I'm sure that they appreciate this. I definitely. I'm definitely not just getting in the way by doing this. But I'm trying to save my little baby chicks. They're like 10 feet from imminent death. I do not want crispy McNuggets. Not right now. Oh my gosh. I wonder what the insurance is going to give me on this shed. That's a buddy's baler. It's not even mine. Oh no. We seem to have pretty much gotten it. I'm just still dousing it with water, trying to keep it cooled down, making sure it doesn't have any heat in it. I mean, luckily there's a small gap here and this grass is pretty pretty green, but otherwise, you know, our baby chicks are literally right here. But I think we got it all taken care of. The fire department is packing up their hoses and everything here. Oh, and uh, we'll have the insurance guy come out in the morning and see if we can't get a little money out of this deal. Morning, everybody. It's about 4.45 in the morning, and uh, we're out here surveying the damage on our barn, and the insurance guy's gonna be out here about 6 in the morning. So I'm hoping we get a decent check, but in the meantime, let's take a look at our tomatoes and our strawberries and lettuce and let's look through these and take care of our little garden for a little bit here what kind of duck is that quack where you at buddy i'll build a pond for you i only got an acre you gotta promise to pay really good rent and then i'll build you a pond okay doc we can get another couple ducks and maybe a goose and we can have a game out of this oh that's what I get. I destroyed a little bit of our crop for that joke. Oopsie doopsie. We got everything watered over here. They should be good for a little while. Today's going to be an important day because I really need to get some greenhouses built. It is currently June, and if we don't get these greenhouses built, we are going to be missing out on a massive profit opportunity. This is a large space here that we need to get filled. Also, you can see our baby chickens have grown up, and they are looking fantastic. No longer do we have tiny little baby chickens. We got our one little rooster, and we got all the hens out here as well. Our little egg-laying ladies are going to be making us all kinds of money. And checking the water, they're good over here for the goats. The little baby goats are still getting along, all right? You guys will get a little older here soon, yeah. But it's six in the morning, so we're going to talk to the insurance agent and see what we can do about this barn. Guys, you're never going to believe this. They give us $36,000 to replace this barn. We now have got 58000 in the bank. Ooh, we're going to tear that down and maybe use the funds to build some greenhouses. Look, I know we're not really probably supposed to do that, but we'll say that it's for the tractors too. I'm excited. Let's run on into town and get some greenhouses ordered here. We just got done getting some greenhouses ordered and we also talked to a guy to tear out the barn. And before we head back, we're going to pull on in here and grab ourselves a quick something for breakfast. Mmm, $11 sandwich. My favorite thing from McDonald's. But by the time we get out of this traffic and back home, our barn ought to be taken away and our new greenhouses ought to be there. Ooh, I'm excited to show you guys what they did okay so you can see the first thing we have a really nice new chicken barn system right over here in this corner they get a shade tree so they have a little bit more shade they get their own little area now uh and i think this is just going to be so much better for them and that frees up this whole area they got this barn cleared out and we can take these old ones down and this whole entire area can become a barn or more of these hydroponic greenhouses so this one is a pretty fancy hydroponic system it means there's no soil and it grows all the plants kind of through a running water system there's mineral water running through and this cost us ten thousand dollars to build so hopefully it does end up paying itself off but we're gonna get that running as soon as we can first i gotta catch some ch oh this is gonna be hard i have to catch chickens all right somebody call rocky balboa what do i gotta chase a chicken for it's embarrassing you know go on and get him are you standing still with some feet feet you're like a kentucky fried idiot okay call me crazy but i think i have an idea on how to catch these chickens oh yeah dude we got a mobile chicken cage now come here chickens i'm gonna put some feed in here and oh well we're having chicken for dinner it looks like you're alive Ooh, you're a lucky one all right we're gonna put chicken feed in here open the gate and i'm sure we'll be able to catch a few doing that boy oh boy that's a view that'll make colonel sanders excited i tell you where's the best place for me to load my chickens on in here just right here ought to do i'm sure i'm sure this will be fine oh just a couple loads and we have got all of the chickens loaded into their new little home here. I think it's a cozy little spot and you have, you're have you less likely to get run over. That's really important, ain't it, Betsy? And Sarah and Tina and Franklin and Maya. And where's my favorite rooster at? There he is. There's Bob. Bob's a ladies man. Look at him. I should probably go get them some feed here, huh? Before we run into town, take a look at this though. We got those all tore down and now we have this thing ready to operate. So we're going to get
get that greenhouse rolling and uh, here soon we'll have a barn put in as soon as I decide what to do with that area. You guys let me know in the comments down below what we should do. But for now, let's go feed the chickens. <laughs> And today we're going to be spending over $30,000 renovating our one acre farm. Last episode, we bought these hydroponic greenhouses here for $10,000. And now in this open space, we're going to build even more greenhouses and nurseries, as well as construct a brand new barn. So first thing I want to do is get all of these things watered in here and get the water systems going in this hydroponic system. I'm just washing off the dust and some of this stuff here real quick. But in order to do that, we have to go out here and fill this entire hydrant. But we want this running as soon as possible because we took out a $35,000 loan over the next two years to get ourselves started. And so far, we've only accumulated $6,000 in value, meaning that almost every single month we have $1,900 in debt. Okay, so we've been running some loads into the hydroponic system. And as you can see, things aren't going so well in here. And the reason for that is because it takes a little bit more than just water. We also need to add fertilizer. So we're gonna have to run into town real quick. Ah, uh, pulling in to everyone's favorite place, Tractor Supply. I'm technically not parked in the handicap spot. Okay. Oh my goodness, that was an expensive day at Tractor Supply, but I got the fertilizer and some chicken feed. Let's go ahead and offload the liquid fertilizer and then go feed the chickens here. All right, you chickens, don't you worry. Papa Pickle's here to feed you. There we go, unloading some bags on into the chicken dude. Look at me, I'm a, I'm a bag unloader and a half. Look at this, look at the skill. Oh, the pallet's even gone. Y'all are eating fast and eat. Oh, look at you, you can run, boy. I eat chickens, it's been real, but I gotta go back over here and check this. Okay, so we're gonna have to figure out the liquid fertilizer situation tomorrow for the rest of the night here i want to mow as much of this grass as i possibly can and i gotta admit i kind of wish that i had a mower that had lights on it and stuff maybe we'll upgrade mowers at one point but i don't think i need a big hay mower because we only have an acre and eventually this acre we have is going to be taken up by a lot of greenhouses and things like that and i gotta say this place has really come together quite beautifully and if you want to try your own one acre challenge then all you have to do is measure out yourself an acre and see what happens play alongside with me and see who can build a farm off of one acre better but i'm just trying to get this area around where the chickens used to be cleaned all up because come tomorrow this entire area is going to be all completely new good morning everyone it's about 5 45 in the morning checking our garden out here everything's looking spiffy probably need to clean all of that up a little bit but we'll start the weed eater when it's six in the morning instead of five you know a little more courteous that way just gonna run out here and check on my little goat buddies. They got water and they've got food in here, so they should be doing fine. They're just sleeping. And over here, we've got our hydroponic plants that are all dead. We need to fertilize them. We'll figure it out all in good time. The old barn is ready to be put up. Oh yeah, so I think it's gonna be a good day. So we're just gonna start out with a little weed eating. And then once it's bright enough for the city dwellers to wake up, we'll run into town and do our daily shopping. If we weed eat and check our finances, we'll see we have 45 $1,303 in the bank. We still owe $35,000 for our operating expenses, but so far we have made $7,000. So we may not yet be making enough, but at least we're making something. Okay, we're almost done weed eating all of this. It's about seven in the morning, but we'll just clean up along this side and then we're gonna go over there and check the chicken. Okay, chickens have got their feed. You guys are doing all right, right? If we take a look, we've got about $1,650 worth of chicken eggs eggs right now. So you guys are doing fantastic. Keep it up, little buddies. We grow up so fast. Oh man, we're gonna need to get some new baby chicks at some point. They were so cute. Just got done watering all of the crops here. Now I want to get the rest of this mowed down, but I really want to change out our lawnmower. So I think we're gonna run into town and see what we can find. Ooh. That looks really good from the road. Aside from dead plants hanging in that. Uh, we'll, we'll fix it. I promise. Oh, tractor supply. Hey, you fellas want to buy a used lawnmower? I'll sell it to you. Hey, we got $570 store credit for that mower. Nice. That's going to be gone as soon as I step through this doorway, dude. Oh, good Lord. It's always expensive when I go in there. So I bought a new lawnmower. It's a $15,000 lawnmower, but I got it for $361 a month. So I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, really can't complain. The only thing I have 
wanted to complain about is I could not find a way to put the liquid fertilizer into our hydroponic tanks. Oh, ow. So we're gonna have to figure that out. I don't, man, that was familiar. Again, speed limit's 45. I don't know how I knew. But we gotta get that figured out because that thing is not looking good. We've gotta get that making us money. It cost us $10,000. Ooh, our truck doesn't have the suspension for this. Oh my gosh. But like I was saying, that thing cost us $10,000 to build. We need to get our money's worth out of it. Well, this could be worse, but yeah. <laughs> Gosh, it did a wheelie. Well, hey, that's one way to get her unloaded, huh? Man, oh man, it's almost 10 in the morning. The day has gone by. It's only, it's 10 a.m. and I'm only now mowing the yard? Fellas, we done did good on this one. Be proud. Be very proud. Okay, and we're gonna get ourselves a little bit of a headland there. We're gonna kind of go around. I'm not gonna go on that other side of that tree. There's no point in it making, me making it more difficult. And yes, sir, we're gonna have a headland pass down. We'll uh, maybe bail some of that around the chickens. We'll see. At yeah, some points, I'd like to replace this fence with something real nice and pretty, but that'll be when we have extra money. Gonna drive past our bees. Hopefully they don't sting me as they're flying out of their little caves there, or whatever you call them, their little... Uh, beehives. There we go. Headland pass done. We tell you what, we're just going to go through this until we get all of it mowed down and I'll check in with you guys once we're done. There we go. I don't expect to get as many bales as we did last time, but if we can get a few off of this, that's my goal. Check this thing out right here. We've got a little square baler. I think we're going to try a little square baling today. Okay. It's running back there. Let's see how this thing works. We haven't raked any of this up, so maybe you're supposed to rake first. Probably but I'm going to try not raking, see if we can get through this. And I want to see what kind of bales we're able to get out of this. Little grass bales will be useful. We should try and dry this so we can get hay bales, but, you know, I'm impatient. But the little bales are going to be great for use on the farm because they're easy to move around. They're just going to really suck to store and pick up. But we're going to make a few rounds and get as much of this picked up as we can. But my, my, may, our day is already going by. It's 1.30 and we haven't even had lunch. Been out here going since 5 in the morning hit the like button for the one acre series this is a lot of fun i'm enjoying it and this morning we have 74 small square bales to get picked up out of this field oh my gosh this is gonna take a while the goats are watered and fed they're doing just fine and we got our hydroponic system over here mostly running we got to get a little tank thing for this but inside you can see everything is growing i think we're gonna build more greenhouses today right down in this area once we get all these bales picked up and then we're also going to be replacing this garden i haven't fully decided with what but on top of that we're also going to be building a brand new barn right here. So we've got a lot to do today. First thing we should do is get all these bales picked up, but we're going to need a trailer to be able to do that. So let's get into town. Now let's go inside of Tractor Supply and see if they got any trailers here for me. Dude, check it out. They had this little trailer for sale, and it's a type of trailer that I tend to hate, but it was a great price. $6,000 is all we had to pay for this, and it's going to work perfectly for our small square bales. So let's get hooked up to the old truck and get back home and back to work. We've already wasted too much much of the morning. Okay, let's pull in here and we're gonna get all of these bales loaded up now. And I'll check in with you guys once we've made a little progress. Okay, we've made it over here. We've got 20 bales onto that trailer and we continue to load them right on. Ooh, Mr. B, just gonna reach for that bale there. Don't mind me. Looks like we got these sections back here. We'll kind of keep moving our way down and around. We've almost got this whole area done. I do really enjoy having those big round bales, but I think these small squares are gonna be a lot more practical for us. But once we get all these moved we'll have a bunch of brand new greenhouses and hopefully we can start making some money on this farm man because we currently owe a fair amount of money and we've only really made eleven thousand dollars so far so yeah it could be a little better <laughs> oh that should be the last one 75 square bales we just put on this trailer and our truck is feeling the weight of it oh my goodness we really need to upgrade this truck when we get the chance. But for now, those bales can stay right there on the trailer and we can get ready for our next task. With everything that we need clear right now, we're going to head into town and find a trailer for 
our greenhouses that we can use to haul fertilizer and small things like that. And while we're in town, we're going to have a team come out and put all of the brand new greenhouses up. So those are going to be really cool when we get back. Hey, why'd you hit the brakes? Come on, bro. Holy cow. Look at this place. Whoa. Okay. We've got a lot to go over. So first of all, right up front underneath the tree where it belongs is a brand new greenhouse. This one is going to be for coffee. Then we've also got our brand new open shed here that we can park in. Now, this underneath has not been leveled out and cleaned out in here. I probably will have to do that at some point myself, but the walls have been constructed. So if we have to, we'll come in and dig that out ourselves. Our chickens, of course, are doing fine right over here. And then on the other side of the house, we've changed this. We had open flower beds with no fencing. We've sold, we pulled all those plants sold them all, sold all the crop, and we then built this new fenced-in area, which there should be, yes, so the gate there that goes through a pole, lovely, lovely, and another gate right here. And then you can go all the way down and through. This is going to be really, really nice. And we're going to decide what to grow in it. Now, I think we're going to grow some sunflowers would be really good. We'll do some potatoes, and we'll do some sugar beet. And you know what? Let's just go ahead and do a little bit of corn as well. Those would be what we grow in this one. As you guys can see, we kind of need to make sure that the water and fertilize them. We'll get around to that in just a second. We've, of course, got our bees still going back here. This area eventually will add something. I just ran out of money, was not able to do that quite yet. But then we need to move our little bales out of the way for our new foil greenhouses. These things are big. All of the product will walk through here, put them in these crates right here on the front side. And then we've got a new gravel drive for everything. That runs all the way back to the back side where we have to run our water water ass. This is going to be the hardest thing. We're going to need a small vehicle to get back here with. Guys, I went to bed and woke up owing $13,000. What happened to all of our money? All we did is install all of these new greenhouses. I mean, we were going through and water. Oh, wait a minute. No. Cow. Oh, I left the water faucet on. Man, I don't think I'm ever going to financially recover from this one. Okay. Well, we're starting out today with a bang, aren't we? So in order to make some money, we need to get these uh, greenhouses going, but in order to do that, we need to spend money. So first, we need to try and get above negative $13,000. We need to get like, I don't know, at least two grand. So I'm thinking I'm going to try putting these bales in the back of the pickup and see if we can't get them sold. Now, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I, uh, I don't have any better way to do this. I mean, we could use this trailer, but I've already got all those bales on there and I don't want to take them off. So I think we're just going to try sell the big ones. But I can't do that until we get this tractor on stuck. I got it stuck back here the other day when I was watering, and then we had to finish it all with a garden hose. Look at this. Look at this mess I got myself into. That's why we had to install an automated water system. I just did not expect it to charge us, you know, a good, like, $30,000. <laughs> Y'all, I ain't never going to get out of this. Do we even need this water trailer anymore? Yeah, for the, for the animals. I guess the animals technically probably need it, huh? Oh, 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 I think we got it. Nice nice now we can get these bales loaded up here and get some money because we need to pay the banker by the end of the day so we need to get at least 15 maybe twenty thousand dollars somehow i'll tell you what could help if you hit the like and subscribe button then just maybe we can survive one more day if this ain't the sketchiest thing i've ever seen going down the highway i got two large round bales in the back of this old pickup truck from the 40s i mean i don't think this thing is really supposed to be doing this fellas oh maybe we can sell this old truck and get a little money out of it if push comes to shove that might be what we have to do but luckily the auction house is right down the road from us so just a few trips of this and we'll have all of these bales sold i've got good news and bad news good news is we got 504 dollars for those two bales kind of that's kind of good news the bad news is we also got fined 42 dollars I mean, we're not really doing too well so far I, mean, I was really banking on these to do better i've only got three more of them maybe i shouldn't even even sell them at that point that ain't nothing we're we gonna have to sell the truck today oh man there's no way we're gonna okay well if that's the case we're gonna go into town and clean it up i gotta make sure i get every penny i can get out of this old jalopy the fella down here at the shell station sure does a pretty good job cleaning up a vehicle and if you want to see a video about that check this video out you don't suppose tractor supply buys and sells vehicles do they well they laughed at my face but to make me feel better they gave me a snickers so you know i, I i'm okay with it okay i have one 
last idea. I'm gonna call an old friend. He usually has some work for us to do, and he might just be willing to buy our truck. I don't know what I did, but I suddenly owe $13,030. We gonna end up more broke by the end of the day. Hey, buddy, you got any work for me? Because I could sure use the money. Well, he didn't have a job for us, but he did give us this gator. So, hey, that's not a bad deal. I mean, we are the ones that found this in the middle of the woods, like, I don't know, three, four episodes ago. Go check that one out, too, by the way. Don't forget to thank a farmer. All right, so we just got... Ow, I hit my new greenhouse. That's good. We just got home with a brand new gator. Where's a good place I can unload this gator? Oh, that might work right there. Hold on. Well, that's about as good as it's gonna get. Oh, come on, dude. I got stuck. Wait. Oh, we did it. Nice. Hit the like button. We got a gator. Woo. It's a good thing on a farm and a bad thing if you uh, live in the suburbs in Florida and a gator is in your pool in the backyard. Definitely not a true story. Not something that happened to me. Well, now that we got our little gator we can ride around in, we don't even really need that. Well, we do need the truck, but we have no choice. We got to go sell it because we need some money. Goodbye, old truck. I'm going to miss you, friend. It gave us $24,172 for that old truck. We now have $11,000 in the bank, but that doesn't mean it's gonna stay there. Water is expensive, dude. But at least we have a little time to breathe so we can see that the garden over here that we planted with sunflowers, corn, potatoes, sugar beets is looking fantastic. Checking on little goats. The goats seem to be okay. They've got feed, they've got water, and they've got plenty of energy. Look at them a little running through here, little body. We have baby chickens. And also, I think... All of our adult chickens might have died. Um, I don't know how to, or, or they escaped. I really don't know. I just know they're not here. <laughs> So, you know, that's good. That's good. Well, time to leave my tiny farm in my new tiny car and head on over to the tiny tractor supply and buy a tiny thing of fertilizer. What's that? Look behind me. Oh, hey, y'all already got, oh my goodness, $3,200. What y'all doing out here? That's one helm of a price, isn't it? <laughs> Uh, get it because of the brand name. Oh, that's funny. Oh, yeah, she's a little. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, let me strap her down, I guess. Oh, this is good stuff. Okay. <laughs> See you later, fellas. Oh, I'm just gonna, <laughs> gonna drive back down to my little farm. <laughs> Dang, what kind of suspension she got on her, fellas? Is that aftermarket? It's pretty good. Okay, calmly pull right on in. Oh, gosh, we did a whoa, two wheelie. No. <laughs> well, I have good news and bad news. Good news, we're here. Bad news, we wrecked our brand new gator. Let's take this thousand liters right on over here and get the coffee bean production going. Check it out, dude. We've got coffee plants in here. That's pretty neat, huh? Oh, is it? Oh, it's raining out now. But really, everything on the farm is coming together pretty nicely. I think we're doing well so far. We've got ourselves out of debt and we should hopefully be making some pretty decent profit. Our coffee bean, which we just started, is super valuable. Oh my goodness. We might be doing all coffee from now on we might start a coffee shop fellers i don't know and it is a beautiful october day out here on our one acre farm we have 417 dollars we spent some money but we have over 156 thousand dollars worth of product waiting to be sold and as we can see most of that is the coffee bean i was not expecting it to make that much money but we're definitely going to be building another one of those coffee greenhouses probably right along here the first thing i want to do is just walk through our foil greenhouses and spray down the crops this is a full lettuce greenhouse right right here. And then on these ones down here, we're growing all tomatoes as well. And that should be good. We now can get these bales moved out of the way. These things are just right in the way. And I'm getting tired of walking around them. So I got to figure out where my tractor is at. Hello. Oh, of course it's in the shed that I built for it. Maybe we can use some of this money we have coming in to buy a new tractor. Comment what tractor you guys think we should get down below. Oh man, we must've just paid a water bill or something. Cause now we only have $200 in the bank. Okay. We really need to go sell some stuff. But we're gonna get these bales moved out of the way first. I figure we could probably just put these right along the fence line. That ought to be okay. Ah, <sighs> so much better. Now, I wanna take a look at our chickens because they're dying. See, our pens here are only rated to hold 80, and we have way too many chickens for that. So we're going to have to build some more pens or something. But seeing how our bank account just went to negative $7, we kind of need to get to selling stuff. So let's get all of these coffee beans onto 
the gator? Oh, no. Okay, we're gonna have to move enough for us to get, like, a truck and trailer. Let's go see how much one of these pallets is worth. Okay, so I was not expecting this. Our trailer filled in the back with the uh, beans. So we're gonna drive it into town, see if somebody will buy it. I, I don't... <laughs> This is not the most efficient way to do this, but I, I don't have a choice. Oh, well, I was looking down at my phone trying to figure out where we were going here, and I may have drove into the ditch with my coffee beans in the back. I'm gonna be honest, I don't remember. Did I sell my truck? I have a feeling that I sold my truck. Flashback. Goodbye, old truck. I'm gonna miss you, friend. It gave us $24,172 for that old truck. End of flashback. It's been a busy few days, okay? Oh my lord, we gotta go cross the river on our gator? How many times am I gonna have to do this? This is the most inefficient way to transport goods I've ever seen. Hey, Mr. Ship, you wanna park outside my little property? I'll load you up with coffee beans. You take it right across the river. Oh, welcome to Wisconsin, everybody. It sure is beautiful out here today. Just a gorgeous October fall here in Prairie du Chien. Why don't you want to just go straight. I'm I'm committed. <laughs> See where we go. Oh gosh, there's a fence. Oh hey, there's a schoolyard. Oh, another fence. Who put those? Oh, ooh, ooh. Tokyo. No, fellas, we seem to be stuck. Um, I think I know what to do. I, somebody needs to go out there and flick that bean out of that. Pause to think. Pause to think. What do you mean by that? It's weighing me down, and I it, we can't go anywhere, dude. There you go. Good job. I'm proud of you. Hit the like button that we got unstuck. Now we owe two hundred dollars. What? Who's extorting me for money right now? I don't understand. I can't earn it faster than I'm spending it bro what is this capitalism dude oh look at that nice i'm telling you buddy if you would just pull right over there to the right by the time you get there i'll be home all right so you telling me i'm only gonna be able to sell these one thousand dollars at a time what if i gamble and sell my tractor and buy a truck is that worth it i only have 850 who keeps taking my money i don't even have time to think around here bro okay i have no idea if this is gonna work but i've rented this trailer for 408 dollars and we're gonna hopefully be able to oh my lord Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. You know, only the front two tires work. The back ones aren't even on the ground. How much is a lift kit from a gator? Unfortunately, we can't find out right now. I've only got $2,000 we're working with. You've got to be kidding me. Come on, gator. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on. We really need to get a truck. Oh, come on, dude. Hey, the little gator's doing it, buddy. Heck yeah. Hit the like button. Fresh coffee beans for sale. Oh, wait. Oh. Rudy, did you want some? Oh no, 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 oh my goodness. Buddy, are you okay? I think you're back in, got clipped by a train. I darn near got hit by that train, didn't I? Oh, I just, wait, hold on. It's a long, complicated turn, buddy. You gotta be patient of the drift. Don't ask questions, but I really just think this is just the fastest way for me to handle this. Taking my little gator for a walk. He's wagging his tail. Look at him. Imagine seeing this going down the highway and being those cars back there. What are they thinking? They're thinking, oh, Lord, they're walking gators in Wisconsin. Oh, gosh, now they're throwing them in the air. Now the gators walking the human. This is just, this is a weird world out here. In the amount of time it took us to get here, we lost nearly $500. Ooh! Now we got 17,000. By the time I get back home, it'll be four. You know what? Hold on. I'm gonna go in here and see if I can't just trade somebody a gator for a truck or something. <sighs> a few hours later, we got a new truck trailer and $135,000 in the bank. Okay. So our farm currently has about $12,000 worth of product sitting on it. And I'm thinking we should use a good bit of our $135,000 to pay off our debts. But one of the first things we need to do is figure out where to put a new chicken coop. And I think we We'll just put the chickens over here again. We'll just maybe put like another one here. That way we can have two of them or we might have to just build a bigger one. I'm not sure. Let's see what we can do. Okay, I think that's gonna work out fine for us. We've essentially added another one. So we've got four chicken coops here that each side can hold 80. So we've got 80 that we can put over here and then 80 that we can put over here. Oh! It's dark out. We got done chasing all the chickens. The adult ones are over here. And all the baby chickens are over here. We need to get the adult chickens some feed. Otherwise, they're gonna die. So we need to hurry up and do that. Hey, before you guys close, you mind if, you, uh, if I get a little bit? And putting a strap on the last pallet there. We got four pallets of chicken feed. We accidentally broke one of the bags. And so we scooped that up and put it in the back of the gator there. But we should be good to get back home. We're gonna feed the chickens for the night. And then we'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody. I don't know why, but there's been a deer running around our yard. Go on, get out of here. Is he following me? I think I'm being chased by a deer abort, right now. Abort. 
We have been identified. Other than that, we have $163,000 in the bank and it's raining on this kind of cold November day. But today sounds like a good day to invest back into our one acre farm a little bit more. I want to get some new equipment and I want to get another coffee station built. Okay, so we're going to sell some of our equipment we don't need anymore. And now I want to find us a good tractor to use. That Ooh, this could be kind of neat. But let's see what else we've got. But I don't know, this John Deere 5M is probably about perfect. It's a nice little tractor. It's pretty expensive, but we wouldn't really need to get another tractor for probably a long time. Oh, let's go ahead and do it. Let's buy it. And y'all, we are just pulling it out of the service bay here at John Deere, and we're going to take it back down to our place. We got a cab now. We got air conditioning. I even, I mean, I went luxurious, boys. I got the sunroof, the work lights, the toolbox, the front loader prep. We didn't get the front loader on it yet. I don't know if I want it, but I mean, this thing is decked out pretty nice. 120 horsepower. Oh yeah. Now I want to see what we should do about this next coffee place. So we have an open space right here. We could place it down. It'd be a little tight to fit one in there, but we could fit one in there. The cheapest thing we could do right now is just probably build it right over here and then move it later on if we want. And boom, just like that, $10,000 later, we have another coffee plant. These things make us like $100,000, $200,000 a month. So uh, $10,000 to build them really ain't that bad at all. We're going to go in here, get all the plants planted and get ready to go. Okay, we're almost ready to go. The one thing is we need to go get a bunch of fertilizer because we have completely run out. Luckily, the rain has stopped so we can pull the trailer out and pick up a full trailer load of fertilizer from the local co-op. Okay, we just got to the tractor supply, but I changed my mind. I had them pull out this tanker trailer that they had for sale, and I'm gonna take it back down to the house, and then I'll come back and pick up our other trailer. But I think I'm gonna try and buy in bulk as much as I can. That way we can just have some sitting on the farm. Holy cow! Okay, so we've got about 16,000 liters in this thing. It's only 37% full, but our truck is squatting big time. So this is really, really heavy. We're gonna have to, like, park this out here and then have a tanker come and fill it up for us. But at least now we should have a location to store a pretty good amount of our fertilizer that we're going to need. This might actually end up being a little big for our farm. We might regret this decision, but for now I'm going to stick with it. In fact, we're going to get started right away by just filling up this tank over here and uh, we'll see how much that takes and we'll put the rest in the other one. And there we go. This one is now operational. We have two coffee production locations working now. And that should be making us a pretty significant chunk of change here. Looks like we got baby chickens on this side. Hold my mama, mama, mama mia. We've got 64 and 80 in one of these. We're gonna have to sell some of these baby chickens, okay? There we go. Are we still... No, we're selling them now. Oh, hold on. I still got more of them I don't need. I got a lot of them. I got, I got, I got like 20 more of them. There we go. 35 and 51. We're looking a little bit better. We're trying to manage that, making a small amount of money. Really, it's just so the chickens don't die. Now, running this way, checking on our bees. Bees are doing okay, still producing honey. Checking on our open crop sunflowers, potatoes, sugar beets, corn. All of this is looking good. Our new coffee production, always looking good there. Bales are still part of way. All of these tunnels are, you know what? We should probably go ahead and water these ones down as well. And there we go. We have got all of those watered down. So the foils have all been taken care of. Hydroponic system is always good. Last thing to check on here is the goats. Goats have water. They need maybe a little bit of feed. Now they still got food, but we should give them a little bit more water. Look at this. They've grown up. We've got adult goats in here now. Look at this. Look at this. We still got a little bubba. A little bubba running around, but everybody else is doing pretty good. Getting a little older. And soon we will have milk coming off of these guys. And we might be able to make that milk into cheese. Goat cheese and goat milk. Yes, sir. But this is a perfect opportunity for us to use our new little tractor on the farm to hook up and make sure these guys get a little bit more water in their tank. There we go. This is our original little fertilizer tank, but I think I'm going to sell that because I don't think I'm going to really need it. We'll just continue to use this really big one. In fact, I should probably fill this one up with that, shouldn't I? I'd kind of like to get some floriculture, maybe some trees. I mean, there are so many other things that we could do here. We're just going to be running out of space. So now we're going to start figuring out what's most profitable, what are the things we want to continue to do, and uh, what things are we going to stop doing? Like, are, are these foils going to be worth it? Is that hydroponic system? Are the goats? I guess we will know in time, but that looks like we got everything we needed to do done on the farm here today. And we're down to $30,000 in the bank account. So the last thing we're going to do is make a special payment on our very last loan, making it $0 completely paid off. 
And it is a cold winter day this December 8 in the morning. We have $271,000. We are rich, my friends. Our one acre property is doing us well. We've got chickens over here doing just fine. Although I'm sure it's a little cold out here for ain't you? Ain't it? Ain't it a little cold out here? Go inside, get in the, under the heater lamp. What are you doing? Ooh! Oh, mama, we got lots of bigger chickens over here. Look at all you purdy girls. All you leg and ladies are going to be making me money, ain't you? A pimp. Papa, you're a pimp. Okay, let's check on the... Oh, my lord. Y'all got some big old horns on you. Look at you y'all grown up. Dang, our goats are doing pretty good over here as well. I think our animals are all going to be okay for the day. Is that iced up? Well, we might have to come look at that water again. But otherwise, we're going to get right on into the bank because I am going to pay off all of our loans today. Oh, boy. Boy, got the truck warmed up, got the heated seat going. It's one of them winter days. I might need to get a snow plow here today. If this snow starts to accumulate, then we're definitely going to want one, and I don't have one. I should probably put one in the back of this. Yeah, we'll stop at John Deere and get a snow plow too. So let's go ahead and pay these off on this loan. We have $23,412 left to pay. Go ahead and write a check for that. And then our other loan here, this was our mortgage on our home. We're going to pay it off, and we are now completely debt free. Just curious, if I wanted to take a loan, $497,000? Woo! We might be we might be investing in some property or something. That is exciting to see. Let's get out of here and get back to the farm because we have more to do yet. Just picking up a little bit of food here. We did get a snow plow picked up as well. So if it gets too bad this uh, winter, we are going to be able to plow ourselves on out. But with all this out of the way, we have spent too much time in town. Let's get back to the farm. My goodness. <laughs> Got mail. And I think I want to replace this trailer. We bought this trailer thinking we could hold our fertilizer in it. And it is good for that. But I think it would be better just to build an actual silo. So I'm just going to pull this thing out and fill up these greenhouses one time before I go sell it off. Okay, this one is completely full. We've got our coffee production doing well in there. Close that up so it stays warm. And we're going to try and sneak. Well, I'm going to have to back this thing up a little. Having a one acre farm in this long trailer. This is why I wanted to get rid of it. It's because it was just a little bit too big for what we do. But trial and error, sometimes you think things are going to work and then you change your mind. It really doesn't matter because at the end of the day, we have a better idea go going forward. So can't even complain too much. I have one more of these to fill and we'll get this run on into town and see how much they'll give us for it. Normally I would take the truck, but I mean, tractor supplies is just down the road. I can see it. So we might as well just roll in the tractor. All right, pulling on into tractor tractor supply here. We're going to get this trailer sold and I will see you guys in the morning. Morning, everybody. It is a winter wonderland this January. I mean, we got snow upon snow upon snow. So I'm going to focus on plowing all this snow today. And other than that, we're really just going to be taking care of the chickens and the goats. We currently have $546,000 in the bank. So we're making a lot of money through the winter. And when March gets here, we will be investing a large sum of that. So make sure to comment down below what you think we should be investing in and while you're down there don't forget to like and subscribe all right just try and get this cleared as best i can once we get a huge pile on it it starts not pushing it too well so we're gonna have to do a couple passes and our hydroponic system is doing okay we'll check our goats in just a second they look like they're doing all right i noticed this door got left open so i'm gonna close that so that heat stays in we got a cover put on our outdoor garden here but i'm gonna close it up as well we got a couple doors open here you gotta keep everything closed so they stay cool except for these apparently these are fine i guess it does ask questions okay i don't know what to tell you Excuse me, are you doing okay? Y'all got water? Yeah, you got water. Y'all got food? You'd use a little bit of both though, couldn't you? I tell you what, when you're doing chores in the winter, you want to have a tractor. This is the way to do it. You got the heater running in here. And you know what? I've never had a tractor where I had a heated seat. If that was, if that's a thing, it, it, it it's amazing and I want one. If it's not a thing, then John Deere, pay me money because I had an unoriginal idea and I think you should buy it from me. <laughs> there you go. Getting more water. Drink up, fellas. All right. We're going to turn around and go the other way. That works too. Go ahead. Ask me if I care. Oh gosh, I gotta shut this off. Oh! Holy 
Come on! Wait a minute! I have a working door? No way, I've been phasing through the glass for, like, generations, bro. How do I close the door from the inside? Hello? Somebody help! You think I could train a goat to close the door for me? Guys, we have a problem. I was gonna give the goats a really big bale of hay. The problem is, is my bale spear is not in the barn. And that means it's somewhere out here buried in snow and I gotta find it. Oh, this is not what I wanted to be doing walking around in a foot of snow looking for a bale spear. I don't know where it's gonna... I guess I'm just gonna have to keep plowing until I find it. My friends, you have heard of finding a needle in a haystack. Oh, get ready for bale spear in a snow pile, because that's what we're about to have to deal with. Okay, it's been like an hour, and I can officially say that this game sucks. Do not play bale spear in a snow pile. You will hate it. It's cold, miserable. Those There's way more snow than you thought there was going to be. You've had to go over the same stretch of road 45 times. Oh, and then it snowed more! It snowed more! more it's not oh, i quit i don't want to live in the north where it snows all the time what am i doing up here man we got five hundred and eighty seven thousand dollars why don't we relocate this operation south uh, i'm just going in for the winter i'm gonna call my neighbor and tell him to feed my goats okay real quick gotta feed chickens hold on Wait, which chickens need? Oh, they both needed it. Uh-oh. Y'all gonna have to share. I'm gonna put some over here. Are you all dead? Those baby chickens are not alive. I know this for a... F There's no way. Well, it's been nice knowing them. Okay, apparently y'all don't need food. Do y'all need food? I can't feed my chickens because of the snow, man. Why does everything gotta be so difficult in winter, man? I can't even fit back here. I can't. My chickens are gonna starve. You ever seen a man hold his tractor above his greenhouse and use it to plow the snow off his roof? Oh my goodness. Y'all's feeder was completely covered up down there. I see it. You know, winter's getting real bad when you see a tractor on top of the greenhouse trying to push the snow off, y'all. Living up north sucks. <laughs> POV. You live in the north in the winter. <laughs> Oh, yeah. There we go. Chickens are being fed. Okay, stop eating so much, you greedy jerks. A little bit more now. There you go. And perfect. Everybody's everybody's not hungry no more. We did a good job this winter. Time to go hibernate ourselves. Oh, my goodness. I hate me. Bro, my bell spear was in the bell the whole time. All I had to do was go and look. Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> it's the winter. I'm telling you, it's because it's winter. I just, my bones ache. It's cold out. It takes me 25 minutes to put on my shoes before I go outside in the winter. I'm telling you, it's just, it throws me off my game. You know what I mean? It's so bright out too. You can't never see anything. I'm gonna have to dig this out so I can get down low enough to pick that up. Oh my goodness. Okay, maybe I can get this still. We'll try. Well, good news, bad news. Good news is got picked up. Bad news is, well, I don't really have bad news, I guess. It's still snowing. I mean, that's pretty bad news. <laughs> oh, my bail. Ooh, easy. Easy, Bale. Hey. Uh, excuse me, Baylor. I need to, uh, I need to back, uh, I need to back up right there. And you're kind of in the way. So at this moment, I'm asking myself, why did I put on winter clothes this morning? Oh boy, sure is brisk out this evening. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, dear willikers. Oh, oh, God, Lord. That was a bump and a half, wasn't it? Oh, you know what they say. Wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't for the wind. I swear to you, I chose the worst vehicle to do this job in. Okay. Back on in here with the bell. Go. Come on, Jake. Back up. Back up faster, son. It's cold out. Come on. You're letting all the heat. Out. Oh, it's because I'm hitting the roof. Well, that will do it. You know, I've heard, I heard, you know, through the grapevine that that can be a problem. They, some, some, uh, some farmers just hit tops of uh, roofs with bales. You know, that's, that's how it is. Anyways, yeah, the goats are fed. And now I'm hibernating for winter. I'm done with it, dude. I'll see y'all when it's warm out. Jeez. One frozen wasteland later. And it is a beautiful March day. Eight in the morning. Look at this. Grass is green. Trees are budding. And it is the perfect kind of day for us to get our greenhouses going. Get our open air gardens all going. And not to mention our giant foil gardens. We can finally get a lot more work going here this summer. But through the winter, we did make a lot of money. We have $858,000 sitting in the bank. And absolutely no debt. So. 
needless to say, this one acre farm has been a huge success in this last year. But we're going to part ways with this farm because somebody has offered us $345,000 for the farm. And if you guys remember, we bought this place for $62,000. So we'd be dumb to say no. So believe it or not, everything's already packed up, ready to go. I'm going to turn all of this over to the new owner, except for our truck and our tractor. Those are the only two things that are going to go with us today. So let's go pick up a trailer. Okay, we are all loaded up with our tractor. And we have got paid. We now have $1.2 million in the bank. But it has been fun on this one acre farm. Honestly, one of the most fun series that I've done. And I'm going to really miss this first acre. But I'm really looking forward to our next 10. So we've got a bit of a drive ahead of us. So say goodbye to our past and hello to our future. Our future is tractor supply. Ah, oh, son of a...